Hello everybody. So I hope you enjoyed that weird montage thing that I did of me unboxing this tablet. But basically today we're going to be doing a review on the XP Pen Artist Pro 16 DP. So it's a display tablet, so it has a screen, a pen, and it is actually a touch screen. So you can like zoom in and undo with like your fingers instead of like keyboard and stuff. Which I think that's pretty cool because like it instead of having to hold your hands on like control Z and then move your hands a lot when you're trying to like zoom, you just pinch with your fingers and super nice. And right now, I'm just like playing around in Clip Studio Paint. And one thing I did notice that was like a little bit like, eh. So when I so I would lay my hand on the screen with the with the drawing glove, so like I wouldn't have my skin touching the actual screen. But since the pressure, that since there was pressure with like above the drawing glove drawing glove would still like draw when I was drawing with the pen so I would have to um, go into settings to turn that off which it's not really hard you just go into like like pen display settings um, and then like scroll down to get like an arrow thing and yeah it's not super hard so that's pretty easy once you like figure out how to do it and it's optional so I think that's nice so um, one thing I did notice too is that there's like, it's not a matte, I mean, it's like a matte screen, but it's not like other tablets in the way it's like, it's like, feels like paper. It feels more like, um, glass, like a screen, cause like, it kind of feels like a tablet screen, but a little bit more matte than that. That's how I would describe it. It also gets dirty pretty easily they give you a little wipe though so you just wipe it off so it is pretty big and it has 4k resolution so I, i'd say that's a plus and comparing it to the cintiq 16 it's a hundred dollars cheaper right now because it's on sale it's usually 900 dollars, but it's 750 dollars right now for this artist pro 16 tp and I would say it has a lot more features for those extra hundred dollars that you're gonna be like, if you're paying that much for a tablet, you might as well pay maybe a hundred dollars more for 4K resolution, touch screen, um, you know, all that stuff. And like, it one thing, it doesn't come with a stand, neither does the Cintiq, but it doesn't even have the stands like on the back of what I can tell. So, you know, you have to buy another stand for it or yeah. Right now it's on sale for 15% off. I don't know how long it'll be on sale, but it's usually 900, but it's 750 right now because it just came out like two weeks ago, I think. But I'll put the link in the description if you want to buy it before the discount ends. The screen is 13.6 inches by 7.6 inches, so it is a pretty big screen. It it has the buttons and slots for USB on the side. It kind of just looks like another monitor, so you could use it as another monitor if you wanted, like a touchscreen monitor, but it also comes with a pen, with, and that pen can use used to draw it is a very fancy monitor like 750 dollars is a lot of money so i did start drawing amber and i didn't i didn't know like like i i just started drawing and i didn't know i was like drawing anything so i was like wait this kind of looks like amber from genshin impact so i just went with it <laughs> but i would say my final critiques on this would be the stand the way it's like a little bit glary but just an, we, you can still draw with it if there's a light shining directly at it maybe it's not the best because you can see the light in the reflection and stuff but i would it's still pretty good other than that it's like really really good the pros are the touch screen the no lag the 4k the color contrast is really good um it it's only a hundred dollars 
um, it's only $100 more right now than the Cintiq 16, which I did get um, a while ago and I had to return it because it was lagging so much it didn't work. Like, it, it, it wouldn't work for drawing because you had to like keep on stopping to let it like remember what I just did. So, um, and I tried to like search up how to fix it, but there was all these like weird like, oh, you just do this and this, put this here. Like, what? Uh, was this worth like $650 is nothing to like laugh at so was it worth $650 to like keep that well I just decided I'm like search for another brand and I and this one was only $100 more for like touchscreen and the Cintiq 16 didn't have buttons so touchscreen is pretty nice for it like not having buttons it has a touch screen so but that will be my review of the xp pen artist pro 16 tp so let me know in the comments if you found this helpful and please like and subscribe if you want to see more things like this i'll see you all next time bye